my love. <sighs> my stud. Pie. <laughs> she babe. So very. My lady. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be in this position that I am today. Speaking as I am today, without your physical presence. Sure, I thought you and I were going to grow all together. That's what I saw. That's what I saw for myself. That's what I saw for us. That's always been the dream. That's always been where I thought you and I were going. I never, never anticipated where we are today. God brought you into my life 20 years ago. <laughs> On the 31st of July, would have been exactly, or it was actually exactly 20 years that you and I knew each other. And I anticipated another 20 years with you. I really thought you and I were going to go all together. I remember one of our local Cresta. And some of us were We would look at them and go, look at us in a couple of years. And then we would hold hands if we weren't holding hands already. I nursed you for four weeks. 28 days to be specific. I have never known anyone as strong as you, Shaw. How I saw you at the hospital. How you fought. Scott, I want you to know that I am so proud of you. Never known anyone with your fighting spirit. Even on that hospital bed, Scott, you defied the odds so many times. So many times. I'm hurting right now. My heart is bleeding. I wasn't ready for you to go. The girls were not ready for you to go. When you became sick, I mean, we've always been a praying family, but I don't think we've ever, ever, ever prayed so much in our lives. We prayed. We prayed and believed God for your healing. Every time we went to see you, we would pray with you, for you, when you couldn't pray. Play worship, praise and worship songs. And just believed. Believed God for your healing. I think I'm beginning to understand that God heals differently. He may not always heal the way that we think or the way that mortal beings understand. I can't imagine my life without you, Sean. The past couple of days have been almost like a dream, really. I still feel like I'm dreaming sometimes. And that I'd wake up and none of this would be real. And it'd all just be a bad dream. One thing I do know for sure, my love, is that you're walking with the Lord and that you have been preparing for this day all your life. 
all your life. Because everything that you did, Miss Cut, you did with a passion. Never known anyone as resilient as you. You have taught me so much, my love. You've taught me so much. You've taught me unconditional love. You've taught me to never just go one foot in. You both fit in or you're not in at all. You were not one for half measures at all. So anyone who's ever known you will know that my husband loved hard. He loved hard. He cared hard. He worked hard. Most importantly, he loved the Lord hard. Unashamedly. Unashamedly. It didn't matter who said what about you and your beliefs and your love for God and the Lord. You loved him anyway. Maybe here's what you did for me and a lot of people that you may not have known while you were still alive. You've touched a lot of lives. <laughs> You've touched a lot of lives, sure. <sighs> You've taught people how to love. Black families. You've changed the narrative, sure. God loved me so much. I may only have had 20 years with you, Shona. <laughs> but our 20 years, what you and I have had in 20 years, most people never get to experience a smidgen of that in their lifetime. How lucky am I? How lucky am I? You loved me in a way that I didn't even know was possible to love. You had the God kind of love. The God kind of love. We say God is love. But we never allow ourselves to truly, truly just love and be and you did that for me for our children for our family and i'm realizing that for the community for the whole nation for anyone who knew you i realized that this is going to be A journey for me. That may be my <sighs> that maybe my journey is slightly different to what I had envisioned. That God's plan is not necessarily my plan and I have to trust him. I have to continue trusting him. God is still God. God is still God. And although I'm confused right now, I don't know what tomorrow looks like for me without you because I just cannot imagine myself without you. I have to trust, trust that God sees my pain and our children's pain. What I do know is that I'm happy to have you as an angel because I know that with God on my side, with Jesus on my side and with you walking with Jesus, I need 
manage to be okay eventually. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the day after. But I know God loves me. God loved me enough to give me you for 20 years. God loves me. God loves our children. You'll be so proud of them. To see their strength, yes, they hurt. They've lost their dad. But the way they've been strong, the way they've been strong, and the way they believe their faith, sure, that's everything that you taught us. That's everything that you taught us, my love. So even though your race on earth may have come to an end, know that you ran a good race, you fought a good fight. And this is a relay, I guess. I have to find it in me to continue. So I believe you continue to live on in our hearts. I have to find it in me to continue. Until I'm ready to join you. So this is not goodbye, my love. Because love, like what you and I have, does not die. It does not die. The mortal body rests. But you continue on in my heart, in our children's hearts, in the hearts of those who loved and cared for you. Thank you. Thank you, Shu, for everything. I love you, my baby. I will always love you. And this is not goodbye. This is till we meet again. When God thinks it's time. Until later, my love. Sleep now.